Welcome to the walkthrough of the mTrigger biofeedback system application. We're glad you're here. To begin, download and open the mTrigger app on your mobile device. Tap connect to pair your device over Bluetooth. And now we're ready for settings. First, toggle to single channel. Next, move to time settings to adjust total time of exercise and flex and relax time for each rep. For demonstration purposes here, we'll set 15 total seconds with equal flex and relax periods of 5 seconds each. This is where you'll begin to customize the session using your own protocol. For a sample protocol, see the downloadable resources on our Getting Started page. Now we'll adjust our microvolt output by sliding the handle for the channel 1 max voluntary contraction goal. Again, for demonstration purposes, we'll set our goal around 1500 microvolts. This can be adjusted later in the train module if needed. We'll now save our settings and go back to the home screen, either by tapping the back button or the mTrigger logo. Now entering the train module, we're ready to begin our biofeedback session. We'll first flex to test the signal and assess the appropriateness of our goal settings. If we find here that the goal is too easy or too difficult to reach during a maximum contraction, simply adjust accordingly. Once ready to begin, hit the play button to start the session. Follow the timed prompts for relax and flex while trying to keep the contraction in the green zone on every rep. When the session is complete, select yes to save session output to the tracking module, where we'll head next. Tap the session timestamp to see a graph of actual output, the green line, compared to the goal, the red line. We'll now move into the demonstration of dual channel monitoring. This setting is commonly used to compare the involved side to the performance of the healthy side, which you'll see in a moment. It is also applicable for monitoring co-contractions. For now, the only setting we need to adjust is the channel 2 MVC goal. For involved to healthy comparison, we set the goals exactly the same. Here you can see that the goal can also be set by tapping on the microvolt number and typing in the exact desired goal. Save changes as prompted and return to the train module via the home screen. Flex each channel to test the signal and ensure that channel 1 is connected to the involved side and channel 2 is connected to the healthy side. Press play to begin and follow the prompts. Here we see the contraction of both sides at once and the goal of max voluntary contraction on both channels. This setup may be used during isometrics or bilateral functional drills. In a co-contraction monitoring application, the goal may be to perform an exercise while keeping channel 1, the involved side, active and inhibiting the channel 2 muscle group. For example, the performance of a knee extension with encouragement of quad activation on channel 1 and discouragement of hamstring activation as a compensator. Save session output to view results in the track module. Select sessions with the same timestamp to see output from both channels at once. We'll now explore the gamification of biofeedback by entering the play module. Settings will automatically match those for train, which have already been saved. To customize settings for a single round of play, toggle the custom settings switch and tap the gear icon to make adjustments. Here, we can lower or increase our goal to change the difficulty of the game, as well as change runtime. Save settings and tap the back button to return to the launch screen. In this game, flex to launch the biker off the ramp and collect the stars. You'll see your score increase and your time decrease as you make your way along the trail. Tap back to return home, and finally, we'll demonstrate the neuromuscular deficit test. The neuromuscular deficit test protocol provides a side-to-side -side assessment of the EMG activity of the involved side compared to its healthy counterpart in the form of a percent deficit. 
This test consists of three five-second maximum contractions on the involved side, and then the same set on the healthy side. In this demonstration of the test, the involved muscle exhibits a 14% deficit in EMG activity as compared to the healthy side. The goal is to recover the involved side to exhibit as little deficit as possible. Returning to home and disconnecting our M-Trigger unit from Bluetooth, we conclude our walkthrough of the M-Trigger biofeedback system application. Thank you for taking the time to get to know M-Trigger. Keep an eye on the blog for more tips, insights, and applications, and we thank you for being a partner in innovation.